I know a lot of people are going to say the RAM is installed incorrectly in this gaming PC, so I want to clear that up right away. This is the only way that the computer would actually boot. And I do want to say the person that I built this computer for did end up getting a used motherboard, a used AIO, and a used graphics card. So there could be a faulty item in this computer. I ended up getting the NVMe, the power supply, the fans, the case, etc., on my own. So I just want to make it clear that yes, I'm fully aware that 99.9% .9 of the time you put your memory in the A2 and B2 slots on the motherboard. However, this is the only way that it would boot. So I just wanted to mention that at the very beginning of the video. So it is an MSI Z790 motherboard. The AIO is something that I've, I've honestly never even heard of, but it is pretty cool. When I first booted the computer after installing the AIO, it it was really loud. Like the you could hear the water. It literally sounded like a waterfall going through the AIO. But after about like 20 or 25 minutes, that did end up clearing up. I've also had some other AIOs that I built computers with where it has that like uh, the air bubbles trapped in the AIOs and it just takes like 20 or 30 minutes for that to escape. So forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And then the T-Force RAM that I put in this computer, I've used this so many different times. Most of the computers that I build are white, but I mean, RAM is RAM and this does its job. The NVMe is also the first time that I've ever used the NVMe in this computer. It looks pretty cool. It has its own heat sink and that's why I installed it on the bottom portion of the motherboard, just because it, it doesn't make sense to remove the heat sink that it comes with and put it on the motherboard's heat sink. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall, this is a great computer. I've used this graphics card so many different times. I've used the same CPU so many different times. Motherboard, I actually have used many times as well. Case used like I'm just pretty much the case I build all of my computers in. I don't know if there was something wrong with the motherboard or what, but I do like this is the only way that the computer would boot. So I just wanted to say what I said at the beginning of the video because I already know that there's going to be a lot of people that know so much about computers that say, oh, the RAM's installed incorrectly. But if a computer does not boot with A2 and B2 or A1 and B1 or A2 and B1 or, you know what I mean? I tried literally everything and like that was the only way I would boot. So anyways, point blank, good computer benchmarks and all of that will have already been on screen for everybody to see for the um for like what you can expect inside of games and stuff so yeah 